to Mobile World Congress. I'm David Pringle. I'm here with Joshua Arona. He's VP Product Marketing at Oracle Communications. Joshua, thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. So what are the hot trends here at the Congress for you? Well, I think, I mean, as much as I'm excited about all the new gadgets that come out, but really what stuck out to me is, is really the discussions around NFV and SDN, as well as uh, big data and the Internet of Things. Mm. So uh, let's turn particularly to the SDN world. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the industry's been talking about that for a while, but are you sensing it's kind of real and tangible now? Um, I, I mean, I still think we have a, a ways to go here, but I think certainly um, the, the mind shift has, has shifted from a, a, a maybe to a how soon can I get there. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely, I think, some, some real interest and desire of, of people really looking for answers about how do I go from where I am today to really change the cost model yeah. that has really you know, been a difficult hurdle for this industry. Big data, you know, there's been a lot of hype about big data, but do mobile operators actually make money out of big data or is it more of a kind of something for the future? Um, I think the way that they, look, they have to look at it is um, preventing customer churn is, you know, they can't go get a lot of new customers. They got to really protect the customers they have yeah. today. And if they don't understand uh, what those customers are looking for, what the behaviors that they're that they're driving, they just they just can't do that. So it's 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 a necessity really to delivering a really um, differentiated customer experience. Yeah, we've had a quite a bit of talk about the, some of the OTT players here mm -hmm. with the Facebook WhatsApp acquisition. Do you sense that the operators are now kind of putting customer experience front and center because they're feeling that pressure, let's say, from the outside world? Um, certainly, I, I think that um, it. it they, they, the relationship that the operators have with their customers remains a unique opportunity for them to differentiate themselves. And furthermore, I think um, if they can find ways to both um, compete with or monetize on top of the, uh, the over-the-top service products by adding value, and, and you, they can continue to have um, their unique relationship with, with their customers that they've, that they've maintained for quite a while. So I think it's, it's a good opportunity for them. So it's work with these guys, but maintain the customer relationship. Some, some will work with them, some will try to compete with them. Um, but you've got to really, I think, start thinking differently, innovating much more in, at internet time, not at kind of the historic service provider time. Um, it, it's, it's really a, 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 a critical action they take that they got to think differently about how they innovate. Yeah, great. All right. Thanks, Joshua. Really yeah. interesting. Thanks great. for having me.